said right then you would turn on me Still concerned for you and no concern for me Let me burn this peace, go and cross my heart for eternity What up? Still I'm overthinking this life I try to try Give my all but I can't win in this fight I don't know Whoever sees this and subscribes right now will get free headspace, rent not included. What's going on YouTube, it's Noxo, and we're back with our reaction series. So today, today, people, yes, I know you have been calling and begging for this for a long time now, and it is finally, finally time to dive back into the world of 21 pilots. And shout out to the comment section, this has been a highly requested one, today we are going to check out Migraine. But before we go any further, listen guys, I read a stat the other day, 70% of you who watch these videos are not subscribed. Do me a favor, if you're enjoying the content, the hard work that I'm putting in, the grind that I put down, support the channel directly. Subscribe and notifications on. Also, as you know, I cannot monetize a lot of these videos that I do, so if you want to support the channel in other ways, if you like the song in the intro, stream the music, download it, the links to that will be below. Shout out to the Patreon family, the exclusive community that we all have on there, all the reactions and content we do, that link will also be below as well. But anyways, anyways, we know what we're here for. 21 pilots, step back up to the plate. Let's see what you got. Waging my war behind my face and above my throat. That's just a different way of putting it, you know, waging the war and internal conflict that's going on inside my head. I just love when you look at things from a different perspective and rap really is poetry and songwriting and lyricism is just, it, it's poetic. And to put it in that way, I just, I appreciate Tyler's pen already in the first line. I had to stop it. I wanted to let it play more. Also, while I'm on the pause, we do pause a lot on this channel, by the way. No sound yet. Everything is led by kind of this daft punk sort of effect, this like computerized voice to set the tone before anything comes in and before you figure out what direction we're taking this musically. All right, let's keep it rolling. Oh, wow. I tell you what, shadows will scream that I'm alone. Again, the darkness, the despair behind that. And then it's contrasted with just this upbeat, synth out melody and percussive ride when it all drops in. And you can hear that those keys just start to rise behind Tyler. And then da, 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 it all just kicks up. And it's also great and happy. Why am I depressed? <laughs> From up, down, and sideways. Thank God it's Friday, cause Fridays will always be better than Sundays. Cause Sundays are my suicide days. Cause Sundays are my suicide days. Da 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 da. I love how he just comes in with the spitter flow. Who says he can't MC, man? Listen to the schemes, the hard I I I schemes that he's punching in. Suicide days, fry days, my grain, love. The double syllable rhymes that he's punching in. Then he's got those internal punchy eye schemes. All right, let's break down the lyrics. I've got the migraine, and my pain will range from up, down, and sideways. Thank God it's Friday, because Fridays will always be better than Sundays, because Sundays are my suicide days. I, I mean, whew, what a tough line to swallow right there. Sundays are my suicide days. But I was just thinking before about the migraine and the pain and how it affects them. Up, down, sideways. The sign of the cross right there right because we know he's talked about christianity there's a lot of that religious symbolism and references that he uses so it's very interesting that friday which signifies you know the start of the weekend we all look forward to friday we don't have to work sundays can be more so down days because we know that monday's coming and we're back to that grind but in this case it's interesting because we know his christian roots so what is sunday sunday is a day of rest sunday is a day of the lord so a day that would normally be celebrated by christians he feels on the edge, literally. Interesting way to flip that. Friday, cause Fridays will always be better than Sundays, cause Sundays are my suicide days. I don't know why they always seem so dismal. Thunderstorms, clouds, snow, and a 
Side days. I don't know why they. I love how he ends the scheme on the rhyme and then starts the next scheme with that same rhyme. Nice writing. Side days. I don't know why they always seem so dismal. Thunderstorms, clouds, snow, and a slight drizzle. Mm. Whether it's the weather or the letters by my bed, sometimes death seems better than the migraine in my head. Whether it's the weather or the letters by my bed. Whether it's the weather or the letters by my bed. Again, very nice internal schemes with the other sounds into the bed sounds. And he plays off both of those rhymes. A lot of really good rhyming from a technical perspective. Or the letters by my bed. Sometimes death seems better than the migraine in my head. Ooh. Let it be said what the headache represents. It's me defending in suspense. It's me suspended in a defenseless test. Being it's me. Whoa, the way that he flipped defending in suspense. One more time. I gotta I gotta take this in one more time. And again, I love when he just gets that speedier flow. Let it be said, da 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 da, what the migraine represents. It's like a punchy in and out kind of flow, and then he speeds it up when he wants. It's me defending in suspense. Or it's me suspended in a defenseless test. Love the way again that he just flips suspense, right? Anxious, something is building up in suspense, but then he plays off of a different meaning of suspense when he is himself suspended and playing off a defense where you have to defend yourself. In this case, the way that he flips defense is it's a defenseless test, it's something you can't win. Whatever life is throwing his way, whatever he's being tested with, he can't defend himself, he feels like. So it has him suspended and frozen and just like dealing with an overwhelming migraine from all the stress. Let it be said what the headache represents. It's me defending in suspense. It's me suspended in a defenseless test. Being tested by a ruthless examiner that's represented best by my depressing thoughts. That's represented best by my depressing Depress. You can just hear behind him the counting. Two, three, four. He's counting him back in. He's counting Tyler in so he knows when he comes back in with the lines. That was smooth. You hear how everything just drops out there like the full production drops down. Depressing thoughts. And again, it's the way that he's bending some of these. Like he's taking some of the more complex syllables for words. And he'll like use part of that to finish a rhyme. And then he'll finish that word and use it to carry over into a new line. It's, it's where he's choosing to play some of his rhymes and accent some of his syllables. It just makes it a really cool sort of balance and flow. Being tested by a ruthless. Hear how it, again, right there. He doesn't have to go up with the ruthless, but it just ties in with the suspense, the ooh sounds. That he wants to hit on some of the rhymes as well. Again, he's just punching some different sort of points. And it gives it a different flavor. Best represented best by my depressing thoughts. I do not have writers, but my writer just hates the clock. It will not let me mm. sleep. I get so sleep when I'm dead. And sometimes death seems better than the migraine in my head. Am I the sometimes death seems better than the migraine in my head. I don't have writer's block. But I'm still always watching the clock. And, you know, you know if you have writer's block, you're stuck watching the clock. But in this sense, he's writing the clock. He's watching the clock from a different perspective. He's worried about time. And he feels like time is catching up on him. And again, talking about the concept of time and the symbolism of this tying in with death. And, you know, the saying, you can sleep when you're dead. Well, in this case, he can't handle the migraine. So he's contemplating and reflecting on a further darkness and a further dive into the unknown. When I'm dead and sometimes that seems better than the migraine in my head. Am I the only one I know? Waging my wars behind my face and above my throat. Oof. Shadows will scream that I'm alone. Shadows will scream. I love on the scream. My voice is still crackly and hoarse, but it goes up. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. love that melody and he's got such a strong range to his voice and what's interesting is that we have these same lines which started off the song but they were purely more robotic in the mix to start the song but this time less robotic you can still hear the robot noise and the daft punk sort of effect let's call it but tyler's voice is definitely sitting out in front of that and his singing voice is guiding it more so this time 
Waging my wars behind my face and above my throat Shadows will scream that I'm alone But I know we've made it this far Oh, nice piano. Love that. The drums just match up with the yeah, 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 yeah. And again, now you've got the piano and the upbeat bounce to it. It's an interesting juxtaposition between that and the theme and the lyricism and the migraine. And let's dive into that concept of the migraine. Why do we get migraines? We get migraines because of stress, because of greater issues. Our issue is not the migraine. Our issue is what caused that migraine and led to it in the first place. So dealing with the root and the heart of the issue so, you know, him talking about death would be better than this migraine. I don't think he actually means death will be better literally than that migraine. It's the pain underneath that he's feeling that has led to the migraine. And it's the issues that he's trying to deal with and shine light on. And what a better way. You know, they say this about comedians, right? Comedians, a lot of them have led dark, depressing lives. They have very twisted minds, so they use humor to cope. In this case, we use music to cope as artists. And I think what 21 Pilots does a lot of is they have these upbeat sounds and upbeat music with deep, dark, heavy lyricism underneath that because the music kind of helps them cope. It's like their comedic outlet and their comedic valve, the sort of irony of what they're actually going through and dealing with versus what they're putting out in the world. I am not as fine as I seem. Pardon me for yelling and telling you green gardens are not what's growing. I am not as fine as I seem. Pardon, da 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 for telling you green gardens. Love how he matches the cadence changes with the rhyme scheme. Seem, pardon, green gardens. Very good writing. And again, another drop out of the production. Just the stop start nature of this. I love. Hey, seem, pardon me for yelling and telling you green gardens are not what's growing in my psyche. It's a different me, a difficult to beast, a beasting umber down trees, freeze frame. When in my psyche, it's a different me, a difficult. First off, she can't spell psyche in this lyric video. The beast of beasting umber down trees free. Growing in my psyche, it's a different me. A difficult to beast of beasting umber down trees free. Difficult a beast on feasting. I can't follow the lyrics because I heard beast and she doesn't have B. And I say is she. Because is that. Hang on. Yeah, I think so. Don't know. Don't know what's going on between the lyric video. The reason I decided to react to this was because I was just worried. I've had blocks before on videos and I want to make sure this gets up because I don't have as much time to get this one up the green gardens I take that as symbolic he uses a lot of symbolism in his writing you know peace reflection serenity that type of thing and then the mark of the beast the devil the beast ravaging the garden and the trees the fires of hell of sin coming in and also it can represent the serenity and green gardens of his mind and it being ravaged and destroyed and the inner demon and devils that he has to deal with when in my psyche it's a different me, a difficult to beast of beasting umber down trees, freeze frame. Please let me paint a mental picture portrait. Something you will A mental picture portrait. Just again, love the punchy consonants of that. Number down trees, freeze frame. Please let me paint a mental picture portrait. Something you will forget. It's all about my forehead. And now it is a dark that holds back contents that make Pandora's box contents look non violent. Behind my eye. Wow. So he's painting you a mental portrait. It's all about his forehead, which is a doorway into sort of his version of Pandora's box. But actually, he makes it look even worse than Pandora's box. In the story of Pandora's box, uh, Pandora was tricked by Zeus to open the box and unleash evil and sin and death and destruction into the world. And she tried to close it as quickly as she could, but still a lot of that got out. So what he's saying here is, you know, that terribleness that was unleashed with Pandora's box looks like a kitty cat compared to the issues that I'm dealing with and going through. Love the way that he paints that. Islands, eyelids. Again, love the punchy rhymes, man. Islands, islands of violence. My mind shit break. This is the only land my mind could find. I did not know it was such a violent island. Full of tidal waves, suicidal craze. Lions were trying to eat my blood running down the chin. And I know that I can fight or I can let the lion in. I begin to assemble what weapons I can find. Because sometimes to stay alive, you got to kill your mind. Wow, just the 
the strain in his voice there and the way that he just delivers it with such sort of dark personality. Like, kill your mind. Like, again, not very good at imitating stuff today because of my voice limitations. But just the way that he delivers that, I love. And sometimes to survive, like he's forging these weapons in his head to kill his own mind. Think about that. Think about the repercussions of that. You're killing your own thoughts. All this violence going on in his head, this war, this conflict that he's painting. And again, the lion imagery just makes me think of Samson. You know, and he had strength because of his hair and Delilah tricked him. But him just killing a lion with his bare hands and that story and the representation of the lions. But then also you have the devil being represented as a lion as well. Revelation into times, lion imagery too. Interesting. Interesting again. A lot of religious metaphors underneath of the face value of what he's saying and what he's given us here. But man, that last line really just hits you differently. Having to kill your own mind just to survive, just to get by because that's the easy way out. You know, destroy your mind, whether that's doping it up with drugs so you don't feel anything, so you don't have to cope with anything anymore. Get get the implications of what he's saying there. I mean, that's a drastic measure that you have to take. The chin. And I know that I can fight or I can let the lion win I begin to assemble what weapons I can find Cause sometimes to stay alive you gotta kill your mind Am I the only one I know Waging my wars behind my face and above my throat Shadows will scream that I'm alone Man, it's beautiful Pink unicorns and purple fluffy rainbows. Yay. <laughs> Again, I, I really love this contrast between the lyrics and the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will say that we should take a day to break away from all the pain our brain has made the game. Break away from all the pain our brain has made. A, 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 that punchy internal A condensed rhyme scheme. Man, such good rhyme writing here. MC. Yeah. We'll say that we should take a day to break away from all the pain our brain has made the game is not played alone and i will say that we should take a the game is not played alone from all the pain that our brain has made we should take a break from it sometimes you have to walk away you have to dive out of your own thoughts in order to recollect yourself in order to cope and i love that last saying and this is one of the themes of my channel you know no matter what you're going through no matter what you're struggling with just know that you are never ever truly alone there's always someone out there who cares someone out there who can relate who has been through it and hold it and keep it frozen and know that life has a hopeful undertone and hold it know that hopeful tone again so it goes from the aaa to the oo internal condensed vowel schemes such good writing man we take a moment and hold it and keep it frozen and know that life has a hopeful undertone and i will say that we should take a day to break away from all the pain our brain has made the game is not played alone and i will say that we should take a moment and hold it and keep it frozen and know that life has a hopeful undertone yeah. Yeah. is a different hook now he's really pushing those last lines throw no oh like he's really going forward in this one this is totally crescendo Interesting. Made it this, and instead of saying far at the end, it just cuts out. I know we've come this far, kid. Is that him talking to his past self? Kind of talking down to himself like he's a different person now? I don't know. There's so much you could unpack and speculate, but man, what a ride that was. And that's that's the thing that you get with 21 Pilots. Like that hook right there, his singing ability and talent. I mean, that's a hook you want to sing along to. That's a hook that you bounce to. It's one of those I songs that almost that. tricks you in a Could sense. Could you try again? Oh, silent Siri. What are you doing? Bad timing on that one. Anyways. It's throwing me off. Where's my brain going now? I'm talking about how you're bouncing to it, how you want to sing along to this. But then you start to think about the lyricism. You start to think about what he's actually saying. 
then you kind of, while you're nodding your head, you stop. You start to process and you go, oh, oh, that's dark. Oh, that's taking a different turn. And it's like pulling against you and contradicting yourself because you want to sing along, but at the same time, you want to stop and reflect and really think about the meaning behind it all. Yeah, that was well served. 21 Pilots, you were Knoxville certified. So if you guys like today's video, do me a favor, support the channel directly. It really does go a long way. Subscribe with notifications on if you like this video. As always, stay safe, stay positive. It's Knoxville. I'll catch you again. I'm out.